This will be a brief demonstration of Bidikas Chametz. Bidikas Chametz can't be done in brief, but we can demonstrate it in brief. It takes probably a good hour to search through an entire home carefully. We put out 10 small pieces of bread so that it shall not be a bracha levatala. We gather them up and then burn them the next morning. The bracha is al biur chametz because ultimately the purpose of the mitzvah is to destroy the chametz Wednesday morning. We have to use a candle because the candle light sheds evenly and so we should not use just boom light or a flashlight but specifically candle light. We gather up whatever we find in a small bag. If you don't have one of those handy dandy wooden spoons, you gather up what we find in, in a bag and proceed throughout the home in our search for our chametz. And so we look at the child's high chair above and below. There might be something that, food substance that got stuck there. Inside cabinets where we might have food. Behind a bookcase. Now it's not necessary to move all heavy furniture. The din of a mapolis is that when a building collapses, you don't have to go after the chametz, which is inaccessible underneath the collapsed rubble. But what you can access, we should access. So you don't have to take apart and, and, and remove heavy utensils and uh, the, the oven doesn't have to be pulled out, the refrigerator doesn't have to be pulled out. Underneath, to the side, whatever we can access should be accessed. It's important to remember to look behind furniture when that furniture can easily be moved. There may be chametz that dropped behind the furniture. And then again, in the case of a couch, as an example, there can be chametz lodged between the parts of a couch, so we would lift and search. And then, of course, similarly, in our own rooms, under furniture, under a bed, in closets, in children's closets and amongst their toys, always being careful with the candle, being careful, chas not to cause a fire, obviously.